हेलो वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सेवन डैश ट्वेल्व सो स्टेटमेंट इज द बीम हैज़ अ रेक्टेंगुलर क्रॉस सेक्शन एंड इज़ मेड अप ऑफ वुड हैविंग एन एलोएबल शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस ऑफ 200 हंड्रेड पी एस आई डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिम शेयर फोर्स वी दैट कैन डिवेलप इन द क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ द बीम ऑल्सो प्लॉट द शेयर स्ट्रेस वेरिएशन ओवर द क्रॉस सेक्शन सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द रेक्टेंगुलर क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ द बीम एंड The allowable shearing stress is 200 psi. The height of this beam is 12 inch and width is 8 inch. So you have to find the maximum shear force that can be applied over the cross section of the beam. And in part B, plot the stress, shear stress variation. So let's start the uh, let's start with solution. So as we know that shearing stress is equal to V into Q divided by I into T. Clear. So if we as we are talking about v allowable, so it will be t allowable is equal to v maximum into q divided by i into t. So we do not have q, we do not have v, we do not have i. Only we have t thickness that is eight inch. So first we will find the i that is section property. So section properties. i and we know that i for rectangular cross section is equal to 1 over 12 b h q so you can see this is the breadth which is 8 inch so 1 over 12 into 8 and this is the height which is 12 so 12 q so again when you calculate this the i comes out to be 1 1 5 2 inch power Four. So now we have the value of i. Now we will find q. So q, you can see that yeah, if this is the rectangular cross section, I will draw it. If this is the rectangular cross section of the beam, so this this is eight inch, and this height is twelve inch here so definitely its neutral axis will pass through the center this is its neutral axis so this is total height this half of half will be six inch there so we know that q uh, is a function of q is a function of y why because we know that stress varies q varies when here y is equal to zero and here y is maximum y is equal to six so y varies from neutral axis so let if we take a distance that is represented over here let this distance is y clear so now this area which I have shared it, we will find the Q for this. So Q we know that that is equal to Y bar dash into A. So area of this shaded portion is equal to, this is 8 inch, clear? This is 8 inch, so width is 8 and this height this height this height is equal to total is 6 minus y so this 6 minus y so height is 6 minus y so 8 into 6 minus y will define the, the area of this shaded portion and now what about y dash so y dash is distance from the neutral axis to the center of the shaded area so this is your y dash and this y dash is equal to 1 over 2 y plus 6 this is y dash so i will write um, y plus 6 divided by 2 why because if you put y is equal to 0 so it will be equal to y dash will be equal to 3 but that will be for the whole area 
so that's two because y you can variate y from the neutral axis so for that this is the formula for finding the uh, distance from neutral axis to a centroid of the shaded area so this will give you the value of q so when you solve this this q will be equal to uh, 4 into 36 minus y square so this is the uh, uh, first moment of inertia about the neutral axis of this shaded area now q maximum q will be maximum when y is equal to 0 so when q is when y is equal to 0 so it means that you are taking this half section full half section clear so in this scenario your q max will be equal to um, q when you put here that will be equal to 144 cubic inch this is your q max this is maximum q and this is the q that when y varies okay now we have q we have v we, uh, we we do not have v we have q we have i we have t we have allowable stress so you can find the maximum shear force so we know that max allowable is equal to v max into q max divided by i into t there so tau allowable is equal to 200 psi so 200 is equal to v max q max is 144 divided by i is 1152 and t is 8 inch so again when you solve this you will get v is equal to or maximum shear stress will be equal to 12800 pounds or you can say v max is equal to 12.8 kip so this is the answer of our first part now we will move towards second part in second part we have to plot shear stress variation over the section shear stress variation so for that we know that shear stress is equal to v into q divided by i into t clear so now we have v is 12.8 ksi so 12.8 interest power 3 we will use q is this 4 into 36 minus y square divided by i which is 1152 into thickness t 8 so when you solve this you will get the shear stress equation that comes out to be 5.56 into 36 minus y square and the unit will be in psi so this is the equation so if we plot it against the cross section of this beam so clear let this is the center so when y is equal to 6 so implies y square will be equal to 36 so shear stress will be equal to 0 so it means at this point and at this point we will have shear stress this is 6 this is distance is 6 this is 6 and this is also 6 so at at this point we will have shear stress 0 and we will have shear stress is 0 and at y is equal to 0 so if you put 0 over here so tau will be equal to 200 psi so let this is 200 so your shear stress distribution will be like this one it will be like this not a rectangular we'll draw it again it will be like this and this is tau in psi so this point is 200 psi 
So this is shear stress distribution and this was the solution of problem 7-12. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about latest video. If you have any question you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.